Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. In this video lesson, we will discuss new syllabus of O level mathematics for exam series 2025 till 2027. Let's start discussion. Cambridge O level mathematics syllabus D encourages learner to be engaged, confident, responsible, reflective, and innovative. These are the characteristics of Cambridge learner. Content overview. All candidates studies the following topics, numbers, algebra and graphs, coordinate geometry, geometry, mensuration, trigonometry, transformation and vectors, probability, statistics. These nine major topics are further divided into subtopics. For detailed information, please refer to the Cambridge syllabus document. Assessment Overview All candidates take two components. Candidate will be eligible for gates A star to E. Paper 1 Non-calculator Use of calculator is not allowed. Time is 2 hours and marks are 100. There are structured and unstructured questions that would be externally assessed. The weightage of this paper is 50%. Paper 2. Calculator. Version. A scientific calculator is required. It is also 2 hour papers and marks are 100. Structured and unstructured question will be assessed externally. Its weightage is also 50%. Accuracy marks. Candidate should give non exact numerical answer correct to three significant figures are one decimal place for angles in degrees unless a different level of accuracy is specified in the question. To earn accuracy marks, candidates should avoid rounding figures until they have their final answer, where candidates need to use a final answer in later parts of the question, they should use the value of final answer before it was rounded. Candidates should use the value of pi from the calculator or the value of 3.142. Assessment Objectives There are two assessment objectives. A01 Knowledge and Understanding of Mathematical Techniques These are basic questions. A02 Analyze Interpret and communicate mathematically. These are advanced questions. Assessment objective as a percentage of qualification. AO1 40 to 50 percent and AO2 weightage is 50 to 60 percent. Assessment objectives as a percentage of each component. In paper 1, AO1 weightage is 40 to 50 percent and AO2 weightage is 50 to 60 percent. In paper 2, the weightage of AO1 is 40 to 50 percent and weightage of AO2 is 50 to 60 percent. List of formulas. These formulas are provided in papers, in both papers. But the rest of the formula students have to memorize. So you must learn by heart the rest of the all formulas in your syllabus. Comparison of old and new syllabus. Paper 1. Old paper style and new paper style. These were the non-calculator and right now it's still non-calculator. Old paper was 2 hours and new paper is also 2 hours. But old paper was of 80 marks but 
and now new paper is of 100 marks there were only short question in old paper style but in new paper style short questions and structured questions are present in old paper candidates have to answer all question in new papers style the candidates have to answer all question in old paper ao1 55 to 65% and ao2 35 to 45% but in new paper style ao1 40 to 50% and ao2 50 to 60% paper 2 old paper and new paper both are calculator based papers but old paper was 2 hours 30 minutes now it is only 2 hours paper before it was 100 marks and right now it is also the 100 marks in old paper style only structured questions were asked but now structured and short questions are asked in new paper style old paper candidates answer all questions and new paper candidates also answer all questions in old paper ao1 28.38% but right now it is increased to 50% to 40 50% 40% 40 to 50% and ao2 was 60 to 72% but now it is decreased to 50 to 60% Now, what is added in new syllabus? New content included within existing topics. New topics added. Topic number 1.17 Exponential Growth and Decay. Topic number 1.18 Search. These are new topics added in this new syllabus. There are also subtopics which are included. In new syllabus, reciprocals, recurring decimals, expanding algebraic expressions with the product of two or more than two brackets, factorizing expansion in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx, conversion for representing inequalities on number line and graphically, interpreting the gradient of curves. Graphs of function in the form of ax raised to power n now include n values of negative 1 over 2 and 1 over 2. Graphs of function in the form of abx ab raised to power x now include a constant c, for example, ab raised to power x plus c. Drawing and interpreting graph representing exponential growth and decay problems recognizing sketching and interpreting graphs of specified function including knowledge of turning point asymptotes and symmetry where applicable domain and range composite functions terms first terms hemisphere radii semicircle major and minor alternate segment theorem calculating the angle between a line and a plane learning outcomes removed from existing topics loci and matrices are removed they are not part of the syllabus anymore there are few terms and topics which are also removed from the syllabus. The proper set, proper subset, increasing and decreasing a quantity by a given ratio, or reading dials, using of maps to notation, constructing simple geometric shapes that cannot be formed only from triangles, constructing perpendicular bisectors. Constructing angle bisectors showing that two triangles are congruent, the hat notation over angles has been removed 
For example, angle PQR is 37 degree. The hat notation on letter Q, this notation is no more part of this syllabus. So these are the topics and subtopics which are removed from new syllabus.